Okay, today we'll take a look at transmission, uh, the BitTorrent client, and I'm going to show you some ways you can improve the speed of it. Now, before we start, you should probably uh, understand what a BitTorrent protocol is. Uh, basically, a BitTorrent protocol uh, makes transferring data over the internet uh, faster, more reliable, and more efficient. And the way they do that, that the traditional way of uh, transferring files to clients was done through you have a one server that has the uh, original file in it, and you have uh, different clients that contact that server and ask it for that file, and the server will transfer that file to each client. Now that's fine, but when you have a huge number of clients asking that server for the same file it, they can overwhelm it and it will only provide uh, those files to uh, a smaller number of those clients and uh, that will make the process much slower and if something goes wrong with the server then that file will be offline uh, making it less reliable so what the BitTorrent uh, protocol does is uh, when you ask for that file from the first person who has that file it gives you parts uh, smaller parts of it and uh, as you get more and more clients asking for those parts they they also get uh, those parts from the other clients that already downloaded those parts so instead of uh, getting that file from one user or one server you actually get little parts from different clients who already downloaded those parts and as you get more and more clients uh, that file becomes uh, uh, more available in more uh, servers which is just you know uh, clients uh, computers and it makes the process faster and more reliable because even if one of those is down you can still get the, the file. Okay, so um, I, I also heard that some people are saying that transmission is slow. It's slower than other clients. Well, that's not really true because they're, all of those clients are using the same protocol, which is uh, BitTorrent. What could cause that, uh, you know, a slow connection is uh, some settings that you have in here. And um, to, to check those settings, go to Edit, Preferences. Now you want to go to the Network tab. And here you see you have uh, the incoming peers. And uh, this is the port that you connect, uh, that your computer uses to connect to those um, other clients. And uh, as you can see here, you have a button to test the port and if you click that it should tell you if the port is open or closed and as you can see here it's saying that my port is open now BitTorrent has uh, UPnP built in UPnP will automatically communicate with your router and ask it to open that that port and uh, if your router has that feature uh, you shouldn't have to do anything else your port will be automatically open but if you don't, if for some reason that's not working or you don't have that feature in your router, you can still log into your router and open that port. And since uh, every router is different, uh, you should probably look at your router's manual and uh, find out how to do that. You can also go to uh, the manufacturer's website and you should find instructions there on how to um, open a port or how to enable your UPnP um, features in uh, in the router. Now, so if you made sure that your port is open, there's another thing you can do to improve 
your speed and that's by increasing this ma uh, the maximum peers per torrent and I noticed that this makes a pretty big difference so if, uh, from a, if I change this from 100 to 150 uh, that should make a pretty big difference uh, that's pretty much all you can do to improve the speed um, there's another factor which you have no control over and that's uh, how many peers and uh, seeds are available so if there's a file out there with only one person that has it or just a couple of people uh, the, it's gonna be slower so it depends on um, the availability of that file too okay uh, try it out and uh, if you have any problems with it just uh, let me know and I'll help you up thanks for watching Bye.